Hello and welcome back to channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys doing good. So today we will discuss about how the SQL Server Max Degree Parallelism is working. So before starting the session, I would request each and everyone who ever newly joined channel, please like to subscribe. I have seen that channel analytics people are watching the video but not subscribed yet. So please, please do subscribe, and you can share with others also. So this diagram basically you you know you will, it will make you clear to how the max degree parallelism is working so i am not going to deeply explain what is the max degree parallelism just only today session is discuss about the how the max degree parallelism is working how the session is taking and how the internal workflow is happening okay so if you can see in this diagram there are two parts so first part is like you know whenever the query is process happened it it will take the single CPU and it will, you know, give the result to the end user, right? It will process the query and it will give the user uh, result to the end user. But whenever you define the, you know, max tree parallelism, so uh, if it is by default, it's a zero, right? Setting is zero. So zero means you are allowing to take the whatever the CPU you have. It will take the n number or the maximum CPU, right? If you cap the CPU with defining this magnetic parallelism, let's say you have defined the five in this diagram. Let's say consider the five CPU we have defined for magnetic parallelism. We, uh, your magnetic parallelism is set to five. So whenever the query is processed, right? So it will distribute the parallel uh, parallelly. It will you know create a thread process uh, uh, to to this logical CPU, and it will process the query and it will give the end, end user result, right? So let's assume here you have the five CPU here, right? You have the five logical CPU. But what a query which is processed now, uh, that requires only the three CPU, right? So it will distribute only this three logical CPU and it will process the results. But the, the point here need to understand is, let's say you have, uh, you know, uh, these three logical CPU started working parallelly. So what will happen, let's assume the CPU 2 and 3, it's completed the result, but it cannot process the result further until unless CPU 1 will be, uh, will it's come, it will wait for the CPU 1 result, right? This is the called mechanism for the parallel, uh, you know, parallelism, right? Uh, each CPU, when the each logical CPU get with their task, then it then only it will process the result, right? So this is the uh, something, uh, the, you need to understand how the parallelism is working, right? So these two diagrams very much clear uh, point of view to understand the, how the parallelism working internally. Right? In the first query, you can see the single CPU. It will take whatever the time, uh, whatever the execution, uh, you know, efficient execution plan for that query, SQL Server Engine create, optimizer created and whatever the uh, if query is written, with, uh, written in an efficient way, so whatever the times it will complete and uh, process. But here the execution will be fast, by Because the process is defined di uh, divided in a three parallel thread, right? CPU one, two, three. So it will, you know, the load is distributed kind of, right? So uh, so it will uh, it will be no more quicker than compared to diagram one, right? It, it is more faster. So that's the reason we are using the max tree parallelism to process the result, process the execution faster. Hope you got the point. This diagram is very much clear to understand the parallelism, how it's working.